Hi everyone, this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles Readings. I'm just going to put down a couple of cards for this week for us. So I'm going to be using black and white for the deck as usual. Let's have a bit of a shuffle and see what we've got this week. Okay. So this week we have to start with the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is a bit of a warrior. Okay, she's a bit of a thinker. She is traditionally this would be um, an air sign lady. If I were doing a reading for somebody and this card came up, it could be talking about a person. Okay, so you know the 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 kings, the queens, the pages, the knights do tend to represent people not always but in readings they can come up for people so in this being a general reading we're not looking at this being a specific person but the energy of the queen of swords is very much in her head okay so loads and loads and loads and loads of stuff going on in her head she can be a warrior an overthinker somebody who gets on a bit of a roll with um the thoughts and they can go round and round and she can worry and, and just you know kind of overdo it all so it can be quite an anxious card a card of worries um so it really is important this week to try to take control of your thoughts now that's not always possible but you know when i'm looking at the week i'm kind of looking at the week and, and looking at her and just thinking you know Try not to get too much into your head, not to overthink things too much, not to kind of dwell on things too much. The The Queen of Swords is very good at thinking, you know, she's logical, she's intelligent, she has all of those really, really good traits about her thought processes. It's just sometimes she can get a little bit, she can overdo it just a tad. So, you know, if you feel in that way, um try to work with what you can to kind of let that go whether that be mindfulness um you know relaxation body scanning guided visualizations anything that kind of gets you out of your thoughts doing a bit of exercise going for a walk all of that kind of stuff you know things that take you out of your head and you know maybe into your body into the present moment all of that kind of stuff's really really good when you get into overthinking mode so Try not to be in that energy too much. It is a bit of a thing at the moment, though. So let's just have a look and see what we have going forward for the rest of the week. So beginning of the week feels a little bit worrisome, a little bit overthinking -y, a little bit too much going on in the head. Four of Pentacles is much more grounded, OK? So what I was just saying about getting out of your thoughts and into your body or into the now, into the moment... The Four of Pentacles is about that. The Four of Pentacles is about, I'm going to put my four feet on the ground, because he's a piggy, obviously, he's got four feet. Um, you know, for us, we've just got two, <laughs> hopefully. Um, so it's about putting your feet on the ground, you know, grounding yourself, putting your roots into the earth. And just, you know, so quite a useful visualisation skill sometimes is to um, imagine yourself with your feet planted on the earth with just these really strong powerful roots that come out of your feet and just go right down into the ground um four of pentacles is all about stability um it's all about do i need to protect what i have or can i am i in a position where i can invest more in my future not so much money wise i mean pentacles are money cards but rather than going too much into money here because that's not really what i do it's about investing in yourself. You know, what do I need to do? You know, do I need to protect at the moment? Or do I need to invest, um, or put more in rather than cover myself up? So that all depends on how I see the little piggy's face. Um, you know, it sounds mad, but the pig sometimes looks like he's a little bit shifty and sometimes the pig looks like it's got a big smile on his face so if he's looking a little bit shifty then I tend to feel like right this might be a moment to just really get really grounded 
put your feet in the ground and just steady up a little bit you know rather than kind of pushing too hard just get to a place of stability because sometimes when we're in that overthinking place just get into that place where we're stable where we're feeling like we're more grounded that's the big enough achievement we don't need to be looking further forward into right what do i need to invest in how do i do i need to do some courses do i need to go here do i need to go there sometimes that's too much um sometimes it's more about let's just solidify what we've got you know it's a bit like when you're watching a football match if you're football people do you kind of do you kind of get to 80 minutes when you're leading one nil and decide you're just gonna try and keep what you've got or are you gonna push forward and try and get another extra goal um so it looks to me from the look on the piggy's face at the moment is that we're gonna try and and we're going to try and keep our one nil win at the moment. We're going to try and protect what we've got. We're going to try and solidify where we are. Be balanced. Be sturdy. You know, that little pig looks really sturdy to me. He doesn't look like he's going anywhere. Um, doesn't look really unhappy. But also I don't feel like his energy is saying, come on, let's push forward. So it's about stabilising. It's about protecting what you've got. And sort of, I don't know... Um, just focusing on where you are in the moment being grounded rather than allowing your head to run away with you you know the four of pentacles the pentacles cards are practical they're more grounded so it's about doing something maybe but a slow and steady thing you know if it was a wands card i'd be saying get out go for a run go for a walk do this do that um pentacles is not that pentacles is slowly 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 be more stable just focus on the practical focus on where you where your energy is putting your roots down all of that kind of stuff so quite interesting cards um at the moment just sort of generally saying that we're going to be working on stability and not getting too carried away in our thought processes if it's possible to get out of those so this week i'm going to pop down um a brian card um instead of an oracle card these are these are they're basically oracle cards anyway but they're the cards that sort of support the black and white falconer tarot um the lady that writes the falconer tarot that created the deck that i'm working with also created this deck which is brian's deck um which is a deck that she worked with with her guide and her guide is brian so this is the deck it's called brian's deck so just going to do that now i believe she has just had this deck reprinted because it's been out of print for a little while brian's deck um if you want to get it if you look her up her name is rhiannon faulkner i will try and put a link in the description below this video so that you can have a look at that i think she's got some on her website but it's been a while since she's had them and i don't know how many she's got so if it's a deck that you're interested in it's well worth having a look okay let's have a look and see what brian's got for us today then okay so here's brian wow so there's brian we are talking about the energy of being grounded the message on this card is this is the answer to your dreams stay grounded and focused and say thank you to our creator so despite the fact that we have all this head stuff going on if we work on our energy and we ground ourselves we we will receive the blessings that the universe has for us you know sometimes we're really bogged down in stuff um we're anxious or we're worrying and we're scared we kind of lose sight of the good stuff so it's really important to kind of just note down any any little good thing that you see any little win that you have anything that can take you forward rather than backwards so i'm not one of the positivity police because i do think it's important that we recognize our pain if we've got pain rather than just bury it and bury it and bury it no i'm going to be positive all the time that's not really humanly possible to be honest we can't all be positive all of the time and if we were we wouldn't see the contrast so we wouldn't recognize happiness because we haven't we haven't experienced sadness we have to experience everything um even when it's a pain in the butt so what Brian is saying is there is even though you might not think so right now at this minute that the universe or angels or God or whatever you happen to believe in there is 
there is something coming that is really, really good for you. Um, have a look at all the small things around you, the, the beautiful things that you might not have noticed. Um, I saw this evening an absolutely stunningly beautiful crescent moon and just it was just so perfect. I wish I could have taken a good photograph of it, but I'm terrible with the camera and I've only got a phone camera, so it wouldn't have come out properly anyway. But it was just absolutely beautiful to look at. And it's just those tiny little things that you don't always notice that sometimes when you're in your head and you you know you're bogged down you don't notice them take a little bit of time to have a look at those things this week because i think they'll really help to to kind of move you forward in a positive way i'm going to leave that with you for today and i will be back again next week to put down some cards for next week in the meantime have a good week and thanks for watching bye for now